Most of the time when you record a video, you want to share some information that you have, but sometimes you want to show how you do some things on the computer. The problem is that some of the software, whether it's Windows or even Zoom, may not allow you to share it. So even when you do a Zoom and you share your screen, you're going to see that you're doing certain things on the screen. For example, if you want to explain how to use Zoom as a tool, opening all those Zoom tools in that window will not be shared when you're sharing your screen. The reason is because either Windows or Zoom, it depends, they treat that user interface a level above the content on the screen. They let you share or capture the content on the screen, but not that layer above. How do you do that? Well, one of the tools that I wanted to show how to use is actually the Xbox part of Windows 10. There is an Xbox part which you open when you click Windows and G. Windows is the uh, smallest, uh, is the uh, uh, second or third button from the left in the lower level, the lower uh, row of your keyboard, and then the button G. There are a few other options and I'm going to show them to you as well. But the problem is that when I do that, even if I'm trying to capture that screen, that part, that, that Xbox user interface is not going to be captured and I'm not going to have a way to show you how to use it. What do I do about it? That's what this video is about. So to do that, I'm actually doing more than just using software, I'm also using hardware. The only way that I found that I can share those higher layer, uh, higher level layers in Windows or in Zoom is by actually using a second computer and then bringing the output of that computer as uh, HDMI into a little adapter and I'm going to show you a $15 adapter that I bought. You don't have to have the cam link that's $130 or so or, or things that are more expensive. A $15 adapter from HDMI to USB, then bring it into your uh, main computer, the computer where you're going to record everything. And then at that point, uh, you're treating it, uh, and, and I'm using OBS, but you're treating it really as a camera and you're capturing that camera. So what I have right now, and I, I demonstrated that in another video before where I showed you how to use two computers uh, for a Zoom call. But for now, I have a second computer. I have my wife's laptop here. I have HDMI coming out of that laptop into an HDMI to USB adapter. USB is plugged into my main laptop, which is the one where OBS is running. I'm recording this with OBS. I have a microphone here to capture uh, my voice and uh, I'm capturing the other computer as another camera, but I'm getting everything that that computer would put out through HDMI, which includes the higher layer. So without further ado, I'm going to bring my wife's computer to my uh, left side, and uh, I'm actually going to let it take the entire screen. So what you can see here is, this is my wife's computer. Uh, you can see the mouse. And uh, in order to invoke the Xbox functionality, I'm holding the Windows button and G. So at this point, now you can see the user interface. If you would have tried to capture it with your own computer, with software that's running on your computer, this would not work. It can only work if you're using it with another computer. So I can use the control G. If I had zoom here, then I would be able to show you all of the screens that run on top of the zoom content uh, window. So that's it. It's uh, not a lot more complicated than that. Uh, all you have is another computer, HDMI output, HDMI to USB, bring it into OBS as another uh, image. And that's what I put in that window now. So I, I have another video input as what's coming out of that other computer. And that layer up here that you can see up here is actually the layer that uh, you would not be able to record otherwise. I recorded this video for you based on what currently exists and what I know right now. But things change, new technology, new products, new software versions, new ideas that I get, some of them from viewers like you. So if you wanna be informed when I release new videos, 
with new or updated content, subscribe to this channel and get notified when I release them. Oh, and you can also like this video, but that's a whole different thing. If this video was helpful to you, subscribe to my channel and get notified when I release more videos like this. Also, check out my resources for speakers at thediyspeaker.com.